so we're headed back to the States. I was sick for a good part of the time. We think it was norovirus maybe, but a lot of us were getting sick from that. I relaxed a lot. On the days that I was feeling good, I tried to show you guys the beauty around here. Internet was a little crazy here. Next task for the day, we're trying to find internet. Telcel is the carrier here, and none of our Verizon or AT&T work very well. So we're gonna go find a SIM card. Hey, puppy. Okay, that was a strikeout. Uh, there's the sim, $29, right? Yeah. Yeah, more? More? No. No. Hay más grande de $2,000. Alright, so we got two sim cards, one for Jason and Karen and one for myself. <coughs> Total of 58 pesos. And then we're going to go back and look online, right? Yes. Figure out the best price. Hopefully. So this is actually our third day here. Second day was spent in bed all day being sick. Headed over to the laundry. Oh, thank you. Hola. Hola. All right, so we got this little ticket for our laundry. We're yes. coming back at what time? Two or three? Two. We have friends who went yesterday, and she told them to come back at three, and they weren't ready. So we'll probably come back around four. Yeah. Just to be safe. She looked a little overwhelmed a while ago when we brought those in. Yeah, it's probably our whole RV caravan. Because yesterday I got really sick. So it's kind of started late night before the very first day that we got here. We went out to dinner at this place and had all you can eat fajitas and margaritas, and I had like a half of a margarita and some shrimp and not an issue, I didn't feel bad or anything, but I got back and I was just really, really tired and I decided to go ahead and lay down, but then I started feeling really sick from that evening all the way through yesterday and uh, sick meaning throwing up. It was not fun whatsoever. I had a zero energy, I slept all day, um, but now I'm up and about and I'm just laying out here by the beach and enjoying the sun and um, hoping that I feel better. I actually went into town today to drop my laundry off and even though it's cool outside, like 63 degrees, I was already sweating. So I don't really know if it was food poisoning or if it was something else, but whatever it is, it's not fun, so. Look at that cat up there. She's so cute. Every day this pineapple vendor would come over and he would make us pina coladas for $5 or 100 pesos. But let me tell you, those things were awesome. He would get the entire pineapple filled with the pina colada and you could choose to have alcohol or no alcohol. And then he would give you the bag of the remaining pineapple and sprinkle a little bit of chili powder on it. It was so amazing. And he was there every single day. So I got a pineapple drink every single day. We got our laundry back and look at this. It's all in these bags. Huge load of laundry, equivalent to $8 US. It's 160 pesos. The clothes smell amazing. So they're all folded, like really nice and neat in here. You definitely should do the laundry service in Mexico. We have this beautiful sunrise this morning. Moon is still out. Look at the stars. Mm. 
San Felipe is this beautiful little small beach town on the Baja and it does have some rundown areas where construction started and then just seems to have been abandoned for whatever reason. And there's quite a few buildings like that. But today we are off to this beautiful place called Valle de los Gigantes which translates to Valley of the Giants where they have these incredibly large gigantic cactuses but they're also called Saguaro cactuses and they are ginormous. I've never seen anything like it. goat heads and apparently uh, when they get done blooming they actually get very thorny and sticky. There's a lot of beautiful cactuses out here and I tell you what when I first came out to the desert I didn't appreciate it very much but there's a lot of beauty out here and you just have to be careful of the cactuses and their thorns because some of them will actually jump out at you. You don't want that. I didn't bring Lily because the thorns can get really bad out here. They're loose and they can get stuck in her paw so we left her at home today. So I finally feel good today. Out of the, what, six full days I've been here, I feel like I've been sick about four of those days. But otherwise, it's a beautiful place out here. You can see the beach and the water behind me. We're actually out on some sand right now. Tide is out, so we're just walking along. Headed to dinner at where are we going? Rice and beans. Rice and beans. Mm -hmm. Is it just rice and beans there? I, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah. So I, Ooh, who is uh, that? 
You need to follow <laughs> at Traveling with JP on Instagram. And Pearl and E. What? I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> at Traveling with JP. So guys, it's been an amazing night, an amazing day. We had such a good time at the Giant Cactus and going out to eat tonight. I feel so much better. This is our last day here in Mexico. It's a beautiful morning, we got a little rain, but we're headed back to the States. I made the best of what I could. I relaxed a lot. I didn't get as much filming in as I would like, but on the days that I was feeling good, I tried to. So the internet was a little bit crazy here. I wasn't able to get on a couple of conference calls that I had scheduled because of it. They were actual video conference calls. Such is the life of a digital nomad, but I will have a video to you guys very soon on that. So it'll hopefully help you if you ever come down to Mexico. I really loved my time here in San Felipe, Mexico with all of my escaper friends. And they were so amazing. They took care of me while I was here. Well, we're rolling out now. Uh, <laughs> You can hear all the chatter on the walkies. Yeah, huge caravan of us, and I am one, two, three, or fourth in line. Yay! So which means I get to get through the border quickly. All right, we have arrived back in Mexicali. Uh, it looks like we just picked up our police escort. We're trying to get everybody uh, grouped up. We are uh, coming up to the border to get back into the U.S. now. Sounds like it's not very busy, so we're gonna be able to get through it pretty quickly. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.